I'm Victoria Valderrama, your neighborhood news reporter in Beeville. As we reported, Bee County got more rain than any other Coastal Bend community during the recent storms. And with those water levels rising, it uncovered a smelly, trashy issue happening within the city. South Tyler Street runs through Poesta Creek. Anyone who drove across here earlier this week saw this. We didn't get a big rain this summer, but we just got one and all the trash got moved down and then everybody wants to say something. Patricia Barrett says all this litter is coming from underneath the bridge in Beeville. Trash left behind by people who live there. There's bassinets, there's clothes, and I tried to tell people they're going to block the drainage ditch. And what happened? They blocked it, and all of a sudden, city crews had to go out there and clean it up. So why can't we use the city crews right now to clean it up and get it out of there? Barrett works near the bridge, so she notices the piles of garbage turn into mountains of debris and waste. The smells, um, the food, the clothes, the mildew, everything. None of that is good for any of us. The city of Beeville has taken some action. Three days ago, Public Works cleaned out the debris blocking the flow of water in the area. Local business owner Jojo Gonzalez has also seen some effort from the city. And occasionally I do see the city, you know, come in here and they'll uh, come in here with their, their vehicles, their tractors, and they'll, uh, seems like it's cleaning up some. We have reached out to city officials to find out what else they're doing to help solve this problem. While we wait for their response, those we spoke with are doing their part to keep their city clean. In Beeville, I'm your neighborhood news reporter, Victoria Valderrama, Chris 6 News.